Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you've been following along, you know that I had the engine out of my Merlin GT for a uh, water pump seal, and I, as part of that process of getting the water pump seal installed, I, by, uh, I shipped it off to Leading Edge Airfoils. They put the seals in, shipped it back, but I'd taken the engine off. I'd obviously removed the entire ignition housing. I removed all the coils and stuff from the ignition housing so I could ship it off without it being damaged and put everything back together. I fired up for the first time. I'm warming it up so I can, you know, do the oil checks and things. And I just checked the mags and I got the one mag and I know they're not really magnetos or capacitive discharge ignition systems. Um, one of them was real erratic and the other was fine and when I pulled it back to idle it would just die on the one mag it wasn't wasn't firing at all at idle so you know my first thoughts go to what did I do wrong putting this whole thing together did I forget to torque some of the coils you know, trigger coils or something uh, and they're hitting the flywheel and they've been damaged did I connect things in the wrong order you know I didn't think I did that because I carefully labeled everything um, so I get the specs for the resistance of all the coils and I'm gonna as a first check I'm gonna just disconnect everything from the ignition modules and check all the coils and make sure I, those are still good and um, as I'm disconnecting I'm looking at them very carefully because you know maybe I just didn't get a plug fully engaged and as I'm looking, I look at the one wire here that is one of the wires that is connected to the charging coil that provides the power to the capacitive discharge. And I notice as I kind of poked at it, uh, hopefully that's in focus, you can see it's stretching right here. The wire inside there is broken and it's solid through here and then out here it's it's broken out at this end too so this wire is actually broken in two places and yeah there's my smoking gun uh, presumably that's the magneto that was misbehaving and you know I looked at all the other wires and I checked the wire that powers the other ignition module same thing this one's broken right here too though I didn't find the second break. So, yeah, uh, now this is the early style of ignition module. You know, they've changed some of this since then, but if you're having weird magneto problems, um, yeah, check these wires, because with, with this wire broken, there's no power getting from that charging coil under the flywheel up to the ignition module, and yeah, there's no ignition. Uh, at higher RPMs, apparently, there's enough voltage to jump the gap and power it at least sometimes. Uh, that's something that's probably not unique to me given that there's a total of three breaks in, in these two wires. Uh, so if you're having magneto problems, it's something to look at. And I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.